Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Valerie and this is Violet. She's normally here with all my unboxings because she likes to know what's going on and she likes to get the paper out of the unboxings and rip them up. So you'll see her often. Uh, today we are doing Trendsend by Ever Eve. Yay! Um, this seems like I haven't gotten this one in a long time. But um, this is actually my third uh, Transcend box. I um, did get one like a month ago. And I did sign up to do it monthly. Um, but then it's like I got my first one. It's like, like two or three weeks later, I got a second one. It was like, that was really like quick in between. And this one is actually spaced out at exactly a month. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for Transcend because I really do like Transcend. If you are not familiar with what Transcend is, Transcend is a um, online clothing subscription styling um, box. Um, you go on there and you fill out a styling profile. Uh, they do ask for a couple pictures, I believe, and then they assign you to a stylist. And uh, then they style you. They normally send three outfits. And uh, they are really good. They got some really, really nice clothes. They're kind of more like boutique clothes. All the clothes come from um, Ever Eve stores. And um, I wasn't really familiar with Ever Eve stores until I started uh, receiving the Transcend box. But they're like all over the place. Um, another nice thing about Transcend is that you can... Um, Go in and set your preference to what store that you would like uh, your boxes to be curated from. And you can change them up and that type of thing. And if you uh, want to also, you can ask for your, or you can put your preference for what stylist you want as well. Um, so the first box I got came from like Illinois and this last box came from Noblesville, Indiana. Since that's pretty, it's not super close to my house, but it's just a few hours away. And I thought it'd be interesting to get that. And I kept it the same this month. So this one is came from Noblesville, Indiana, too. And I believe, I don't know, we'll see if I got the same stylus from there that I did last time. Trenza does not start uh, does not charge a styling fee like some of the other uh, subscription boxes. Um, they do charge one dollar um, for each box that they curate for you. They send it to you. Um, if you don't like anything, you send it back, then you lose your dollar. But I mean, what's a dollar, you know, seriously. If you do like something, they take the dollar off of whatever you purchase. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, I think that's about it for Transcend. Um, if I n think of anything more, I'll let you know as we go along. Um, let me get my paperwork. Paperwork comes in this. And let's see here. They sent me here. Okay, they sent me a little booklet this time. It says, Start a New Story, Ever Eve. Um, Violet's in there checking things out. Um, every fall is full of transitions as the kids board the school bus for another year and the leaves change from emerald to okra. Turns your own page. Turn your own page. Take the solo trip, make the career switch, or accept the first date. We're here to help you start with confidence and style. Books and great fashion have always given us the confidence to embrace the unknown and do the things we didn't think we could. Carry these words with you as you start your new story this season and share the second bookmark with someone you want to inspire. Oh, and then they sent me a couple little bookmarks that they're perforated. That's kind of cute. It says, forgive yourself in advance for feeling less than confident no matter how you show up. Would you stop, stop, you don't get that yet. <laughs> um, that's kind of cool. And then the other one says, the next time you find yourself wanting to take on a new challenge, ask yourself, what are my strengths? What gives me pride? What are my success stories? That's awesome. And then there's a couple more back here. So yeah, I got a couple little free bookmarks. And it says, you know, share one with a friend. So that's cool. I'll put this back in my paper, in my envelope, or somebody might get a hold of it. She's already ripped things up here. 
She's already ripped things up here. She was impatient. Okay, and this is for my stylist, and I did get Kelly C again, so she I got her last time. It says, hi, Valerie. Happy Transcend Day. I had so much fun styling your box this month. I have used your feedback and style preferences for inspiration to create the looks I'm sending you this month. If you need anything in a different size, please let us know in feedback, and Transcend will handle the exchange. Enjoy trying on your new outfits. And they sent me three outfits, and they've got them listed. Um, and it just says here, share the love and save 20% on your next order um, by sending or having somebody use your referral or having friends send up, sign up and so forth. So there's that. They also send you a mailer to mail back anything you don't want. Shipping is free both ways. Um, let me see where my mailer is at. Yep, it's back down here. Um, it goes United States Postal Service. So what I like to do is I like to drop it off at the post office and get a receipt so I have proof that I've sent everything back. So that I definitely need. Uh, let's see what is on. And there's probably a price sheet, which I'm not going to look at the prices, and we're not going to go over them. Um, and last time I tried everything on at, according to what they um, styled me on because it'll give you like outfit one. I don't know if you can see that. See outfit one, outfit two, outfit three. And then it tells you what the outfit is and that type of thing. So um, I'm not going to do, um, I'm going to do those in order like I did last time. I really like that. Um, I'm going to show you what the box looks like inside after somebody got in here and ripped it apart. There it looks like it was prettier, but somebody couldn't wait. Okay, and then I like to have like these, um, I got, looks like I got three bundles. Um, I like these little stickers on here. This one says choose kind over cool, and I really do like that one. I mean, we really all I need to be a little bit more kinder. So let me get this, and this is what the bundle looks like. I like that pink. I like that plummy color, and there's some denim. Woo -hoo. All right, so let's dig in. Oh, this is, this is cute. All right, let me get her the paper so she can go play and have a good time ripping this apart. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Okay, this is by Sanctuary, and they said it in size large. It is stateside cutout tea and washed cherry. And I'm going to try not to look at the prices because I like to save that for last. And this looks like it's, uh, oh, this is different. Okay, so it's got the cold shoulder on the one side, right there. And then the other side is just normal. It's just a normal, normal. So that's kind of different. That's kind of cute. I've not tried anything like that. So I'm that's going to be neat to try. I like the color. That's really pretty. And I think that would be a good color on me. Yeah. See, the, you know, the really light pinks and pale colors don't look as good to me as like the ones that are more pigmented, um, a little bit more brighter, a little bit darker. Um, it has a V-neck. Um, it doesn't look like it's a high-low. Back's just normal. Fabric's not super soft, but it's kind of like just t-shirt material. Okay, so that is number one in the first outfit. <laughs> okay, number two here. Let me see. Where's the tag on it? Looks like I feel it, but I can't find. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, this is kind of hard. This is by Peyton Jensen, and the color is prune, and then they sent it in a large, and this is a tunic hoodie. This is pretty too. This is I like this color too. It's a nice fall color. Okay, so and it's it's soft. It's a nice soft material. Okay, it's got the little, it's got the, I don't know what that's called where the pocket goes all the way through, but like on a hoodie sweatshirt. Um, it feels more like a sweater than it does like sweatshirt, but it's it's nice and soft. And there's the long sleeve, and it's like cuffed right there a little bit. It's a really pretty color. I do like that color. And then it's just, uh, let me try to get the 
so you guys can see that's the neckline it's kind of high just like a hoodie would be and then the back's got the hood of course and it looks like it has like a rounded hem so yeah that's cute all right we'll try that on next one is Catherine boyfriend jeans from cut from the cloth and what size I'm interested I think I changed all my sizes oh this is a size 10 so last ones were 14s and they were pretty big so I think I put on there that I wanted um to try size 10 so we'll see if these are if I can get into them we'll see I don't know these are nice I like the Catherine boyfriend cut I like that wash it's cute they are cuffed at the bottom, which is always good for me because if they're um, a little long, that's fine because I am short. I'm 5'2", so um, in the back of them. And I love cut from the cloth. That's That must be my jean because I do like them. They have a nice little stretch to them too. All right, so we'll try that. So that's my first bundle. <clears throat> Okay, we're going on to the second bundle. It says, do, do all things with love. And let's see if we can peek in there. We got some gray. Oh, we got a white and blue. Okay, some black. Let's check in here. Oh, this is really soft. This is soft. Let's see what it is here. This is by Michael Stars. Um, it is in colonial blue and it is large. And it is Madison off the shoulder. So let's see. You need another piece? Are you ready for more? Are you ready for more, little girl? Okay. Let's give you a couple here. There you go. Okay, here we go. This is nice and soft. Okay, it's in, there's a piece of fuzz on there already. All right. Yeah, this is very nice and soft. Okay, and they got just the cuff. It's more like a sweater. And then it has this detail going down. I don't know if you can see it. It's coming down off the sleeve, just right in the center there. It's got a little bit of a, I don't know. It's just kind of a different detail there. Uh, maybe it'll, it'll show up better when I do the try-on portion. Um, it's kind of hard to see, though, on camera there. I'll try to show it to you better. But, yeah, this is a, looks like it's just a normal hem. Um, I like the neckline. That's cute. The color's nice. Okay, that's nice and soft, too. That's an outfit, too. Oh, we don't want that. That's yucky. Okay, and the next one is by Peyton Jensen. It is white and black, large, Parker striped tunic tank. Seems like they might, man, maybe it was a different one. They might have sent one similar to this one before, but that's cute. I do like that. I like the V. It's got a nice little detail on the arm. It's very silky, like that. Okay, the bottom is like a rounded hem. Okay, and then the back is just this. Okay, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, and then this is, um, I think I got these before, and I really like these. Um, I just sent them back, these were size 12. They did send these in 12. Um, Excuse me, I just lost, I just lost a stitch from my uh, oral surgery, so let me get rid of that here. Okay, well, that's good, that means I'm healing. Sorry about that, as a matter of fact, grossed anybody out. I just couldn't leave, I had to get that out. All right, these are um, cut from the cloth, um, Mia Ponte pant with faux pockets. They did send this to me before. Um, these are in black. Last time they sent me a size 14. These are size 12s. 
I really like these pants. They're very, very thick. Um, there was a couple things I didn't like. I didn't like the price and because uh, they were pretty expensive, but these are just really nice pants. I fell in love with these pants, but I did send them back. They're really stretchy. Um, they're skinny pant. Um, one thing I didn't like, they didn't have pockets. And it seemed like when I, I put this, this thing kind of stuck out right there and um, it like stuck out and, and you could see it over tops. So, uh, but it, they are nice pants. They are very nice, nice, nice pants. And I kind of regretted sending them back. I thought, well, for a couple things. Um, and these are something I would wear more for dressy, but I do like these. So that is outfit two. Okay, now the third bundle. This is Say Yes to New Adventures. And then we've got this. Looks like a print and a stripe. Okay, let's dig in here and see what this third outfit is. And sometimes outfits can be like two shirts. Um, sometimes it can be, you know, a dress. Um, it just varies what they, they bring in for outfits. Uh, this one is from Collective Concepts. It is a navy multi size large and it's called, oh, this is a dress. This is called Lane Wrap Dress. So let's see here. It's very colorful. It has some really nice colors in it that I do like. Okay. Um, it's just like a normal wrap. I don't know if it's a faux wrap or if it's a real wrap. Feels like it might be a faux, which is better for me because I don't really care for the, the real ones because I'm always afraid that something's gonna happen and it's gonna slide off. But this is really nice and tropical looking. Um, I don't know really if it's my style, but I never really, I don't know if I've tried anything like this. There's the back of it. Looks really cute. So yeah, we'll try that. I always love dresses because I'm always I'm on the hunt for dresses. I have a hard time finding nice dresses. And I've purchased about three now that I've liked. So um I still want some more dresses. I'm I don't know. I'm lately I've been kind of into wanting to wear dresses more. Okay. The next one and the last one is by RD Style. Um, it is a striped pocket tank dress. Oh, another dress. Ooh. And it is black stripe and in large. This one's cute. This one I think I like a little better, but uh, I like the stripe on it. It's not too stripey. It's got a pocket in the front. It's not super soft, but it's it's thicker material. Um, the bottom is just basic. It has a little bit of a slit, not much, but a little bit of side slit there. Just simple, nothing fancy, but this would look really nice with a Cardi. Um, so yeah, no Cardis this time. All right, so that is the third outfit. So um, let me go and try these on and we'll start the try on portion. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the first outfit that my stylist uh, paired together. Um, and she put, uh, Valerie, here's a great outfit for casual weekend fun since you love the Catherine Boyfriend by Cut from the cloth, but the size I sent was too big. I'm sending a smaller size to try. You'll find yourself living in these all year round, making them a great value. I've styled them with the fun stateside cut out tee to wear now, or wear them later with the weather when the weather cools down with the cozy Ava tunic head hoodie. Okay, so I've got the sanctuary stateside cut out tee on, and I also have the cut from the cloth Catherine boyfriend jeans. Um, so yeah, you can see this is asymmetrical. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. I mean, it's different. I do like the color. I do like the color. Um, it's a nice fabric. Shows my rolls back there a little bit too much, but um, that's okay. It's a little bit shorter top than what I normally like, um, but it's not horribly short. So it's something I guess I could do. Um, these are size 10s. They do fit me really good. Um, the only thing they do leave a little bit of a roll up here, but, um, I've been on vacation this week, so I probably have put on a couple pounds. Um, then, but 
this Thursday, I'm going to have some oral, some more oral surgery done. So I'm probably going to be losing some more weight because I'm not going to be able to eat actually very well. Um, so I'll probably be on a liquid diet for a week or so. So, um, yeah, I think this size really would work well. This is a size 10 before she said a size 14 and they were actually really big. So, um, I kind of stated that maybe I should go down to a 10. Um, I like the fit in these a little bit better and they fit me. They don't bag here. Um, I love this cut. I love this wash. I think they look really pretty decent. And I like it because they support my stomach. I like something maybe a little bit smaller just to pull my stomach in a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, um, that's what these look like. Of course, they're tough because I'm short. <laughs> but I, I like this. I like this outfit. Um, I'm not sure I like the asymmetric look, but... Um, that's something I probably have to get used to. So, yeah, you guys give me your thoughts and opinions on what this one looks like, what you guys think it looks like. Um, the jeans, they're gonna stre I know they're going to stretch, too. So, um, But, yeah, 10s are actually probably going to be a good size. Because some of the 12s I had already pr had purchased prior, they're starting to get a little stretch. When they stretch out, they're, I'm kind of finding myself pulling them up a little bit more. So, um I just may have to size down everything as far as jeans and pants to a 10. Um, these fit really nice. And I know they're going to stretch more in the waist and so forth. So, all right, anyway, uh, let's go to the, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, next shirt for the, the outfit one. Okay, we're still on outfit one, and um, but the second top. Um, this is the, uh, let's see here. This is by Peyton Jensen. It is the Ava Tunic Hoodie. Um, as you can see, I believe it's a little bit snug. And it's kind of see-through right in here. Probably because it's very snug. Um, especially in the arms, they're, they're, they're tight. Um, and I don't do hoodies much. I really don't wear hoodies too much. Because I don't like this up against my neck. I have some hoodies, but if I'm going to do a hoodie... I want them big. I want them really over oversized. I don't want them um, tight at all. So this is going to be a probably a no unless I, I can upsize it. Um, it's cute. It's it's cute, but it's just it's way too small. It's snug, um, and I would want if I was to keep this, I would go up probably two sizes because I just want my hoodies really big and roomy, um, just so you can snuggle. And this is very see through. So that's something I'm really not liking. Okay, so let me go on and we'll start on uh, outfit two. Okay, I'm back with outfit two. Um, she says, here's a fabulous outfit that is versatile. Since you had it on your wish list and it's a great staple for work, I had to send you the Mia Ponte pant. I had it on my wish list prior and I already had gotten them. Um, but uh, plus I wanted to keep track to see if they went on sale. Um, they will be the workhorse of your wardrobe. You can wear them for work, for a night out with friends, or style them casually. I've styled them casually with the Parker Stripe Tunic Tank, which could be easily be layered under a jacket, or wear the soft Michael Stars Madison Off-Shoulder Sweater. This could easily be layered over a tank or cami if you desire a little more coverage. Which I went ahead and put one of my tanks on myself. I don't have, I don't think I have a tank in this, uh, this color. Um, this is very soft. This is really really nice soft but I'm not quite sure I like the off the shoulder I don't have any off the shoulders because I have very broad shoulders and um, it's just something that I think I look better um, with them covered or a little bit more more coverage on them than actual you know them showing so anyway so I went ahead and put this on underneath um, and then I have the Mia Ponte pant in black on um, I kind of really do like this sweater um, it, it's a little more form fitting than what I ha I normally wear, but I think it really gives me a nice silhouette. Um, it's really nice and soft. It's longer, so I think this is something I could pair well with um, leggings. I could put leggings on underneath to keep it more to keep it casual. Um, I do like the detail. Maybe I, you can see the detail now. Down here, there's like a stripey thing there. 
Um, I do like the, the cuffs are, you know, pretty long on that too. The color looks pretty decent on me too. It's kind of a grayish blue. I mean, it's blue, but it has a lot of gray in it. Um, still love these pants. These pants are great. Um, they're even better in the size 12 um, that she sent me. Um, they seem to control my stomach a little bit better than the 14s did. I think they just fit me really nice. They have more of a slimming effect, it being a smaller size. It's amazing what a size can do for you, um, to be honest. Um, I, yeah, I really kind of like this. The only thing is it feels like this is not going to stay up, stay over my shoulders. Um, but I kind of looked at like this too. So I think I could probably wear it on my shoulder as well and just wear it a little bit baggier. Um, which is fine with me. And this kind of thing, you can kind of shift around a little bit here too. I don't think I even have it completely all the way down. There, it's pretty much all the way down. Um, but I don't think it needs to be. It's kind of cool. I could probably give it a different look by just shearing it up a little bit and playing with it. Um, so I kind of do like this top. It really is nice and soft. I love the pants. That goes without saying. They're still a little long, and I've cuffed them up a little bit, but um, that's nothing unusual for me. So um, give me your guys' thoughts on this, because it's a lot more form-fitting than what I'm used to. Um, does it help flatter my figure, or does it help make me look bigger, <laughs> or does it make me look bigger? Um, what do you think about this, wearing it on the shoulder rather than off the shoulder? Um, and what are your thoughts about it being off the shoulder? You know, is this a decent look for me or what? So I really value your opinions and uh, thoughts, and so I really like to hear from you. Okay, so let's move on. I got one more shirt for outfit two, so let me go try that on. Okay, I'm back, and this is still outfit two. Uh, I've still got the same pants on, but I did put the other top on, and this is the Peyton Jensen Parker Stripe Tunic Tank. Yeah, the other one was Michael Starr's Madison Off Shoulder. This is the Peyton Jensen. Um, I really like this. Um, it's really silky, and it's something I can wear now. I mean, our weather's gotten warmer again, and it keeps, you know, getting warm. Then, but it's not even kind of nice because it gets really nice and warm during the day, and then it cools off at night. So um, it is stripey, um, which I'm not real fond of stripes. But this is a smaller stripe. Um, and it's not like equal proportion stripes, and that's what I don't like. So this is a nice tee. It's very silky and soft. I really do like that. I like the fit on me. I think it looks really nice. It's comfortable. I don't feel like I'm kind of squeezed in it. The other, the other uh, top I didn't feel squeezed in, but I, it was very form-fitting, and I'm a little bit more self-conscious with more form-fitting um, clothes. But I don't want everything like super baggy and super big and oversized. In my closet and it's nice to have some form-fitting clothes in my in my closet as well so uh, she was saying that um, this it's warm enough now I could pair this with this now um, and wear it and be comfortable um, but once it starts cooling off I could probably just add a jacket or a cardigan so I brought a couple of my cardigans out and I want to try those on and see what that looks like with them the first one is the wine colored one that I purchased at Walmart And it is a really nice light cardi. Um, oh yeah, see that looks, I think that looks really nice with it too. It's a nice, nice uh, look. Really nice look. Okay, so that would work. So what do you guys think about this with this cardigan? Um, I like it. I actually really like it. It adds a little bit more of a uh, fall look to it. That kind of sticks out underneath like that a little bit. Maybe I don't like that too well. But I can always tuck that in. Um, yeah, and this would be a perfect one to do front tucks. If you do front tucks, I don't really do tucks, but because I always want to keep my stomach covered up. But yeah. Anyway, so okay, that's that one. The next one's. Um, I purchased from uh, the trunk club, um, my second truck, trunk. Not this last one, but my second one. 
And this is uh, my Bobo, Bobo, and it's black. Oh, this looks nice, too. Yeah, I really do like that. And this covers it up a little bit better. So, yeah, this is really a nice layering piece. I'm telling you, this is my, you know, I really do like that. And I don't have anything in a lighter color to go underneath some stuff. So, um, this might really work. Okay, so that's the second outfit. Let's go on to the third outfit, which is two dresses. So let me go try those on. Okay, so this is uh, part of the third outfit. Unfortunately, this is gonna be the last piece because the other dress um, had no give to it at all and it was, I just couldn't even get it on. So um, this one is the RD Style Stripe Pocket Tank Dress. Um, she also says the last set of pieces can be for dinners out or to church on Sunday. The lane wrap dress has a fully, a really fun print and is very flattering on. Wear it with heels, wedges, or sandals to complete that look. Or the striped pocket tank dress for a casual dress alternative. You can also wear under a cardigan or jacket and with booties to bring this look into fall. Oh, that'd be cute with booties. I didn't think about that. This is more of the type of dresses that I'm looking for. Um, it's just very casual. I can dress it down. I could probably dress it up with booties and uh, depending on what I put with it. Um, I just wish they quit sending them to me in stripes. I would much prefer um, like solids, but I think I can make the stripes work. I just feel like it makes me look whiter, especially with the horizontal stripes. I'd rather, if they do send me stripes, send me, you know, uh, vertical, not horizontal stripes. But, um, and it, it kind of freaks out my camera too. <laughs> I got my little soup over there. I thought maybe I needed it, but maybe I don't. Um, but this is a nice fit. It does fit nice. Um, this one is a size large. The other dress was a size large, but there was just no give to it. Um, there was like no elastic in the waist to even try to like, you know, be able to get it over my hips or to get it over my head. And it just did not work. So yeah, this is the type of casual little dress that I've been wanting, um, to be honest. It's, it's really cute. Um, I'm not sure how it looks. Figure-wise, I'm not sure if it's very flattering on me. Shows my big old arms, but I don't. I'm over that. I don't really care if I'm hot. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wear it. You know, be comfortable. So um, it does have a pocket tee, but I like that it's the same color as this. It kind of blends in more. I don't like where then there's like a totally separate uh, fabric or color, um, but I do like like this. Um, I'm sorry if it, it looks like it's freaking my camera out. Um, it has this type of back to it. You see, there's nothing really spectacular about the dress, but I do like it. I like the color. It's kind of a faded, um, it's kind of got fading in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of just kind of a faded wash and, and so forth. Um, I brought out a little jean thing that I have had for a long time, and I just have never been able to find anything that looked, I thought looked decent with it. So I'm going to put that on and you guys let me know if you think it looks good. I think I might have finally found a piece that works well with this. So, um, but you guys give me your thoughts. It's not really a jean jacket per se. I think it's supposed to be more like a jean shirt, but, uh, if I think you can wear it either way. Um, I thought it looked really kind of cute with this, but then again, um, I don't know. Give me you guys' thoughts and opinion on this. Um, if this, if it doesn't look decent with this, I, I'm really considering getting rid of this because I just never find anything that I liked to wear with it. Um, it has a zipper on it. Um, maybe I need a real jean jacket. I don't know. Um, I thought it looked okay, but um, that's my opinion. Um, it kind of really brings it down. Then I can put a little little tennis shoes on but give me your thoughts and opinion on what this looks like together um, if not I do have some other uh, cardies and I do have some other little jackets and stuff and so forth that would go with this so I think this this is a really nice um, this might be a winner <laughs> this might be a winner so um, let me go get changed and I'll be right back okay everybody I'm back um, let's do the recap and um this was the lane wrap dress in navy multi by collective concepts um the one that i could not get on it was in the size of large 
and it was $44.99. Nice price for a dress. I, I don't mind spending that on a, a dress. Um, wrap styles or faux wraps just really don't work well for me. They're either way too small or they, they don't close right in the bust area. Um, this just don't think it's a style for me. And I think I'm going to go through and update um, my style profiles through all my um, subscription boxes and let them know don't send me faux wraps. Even the faux wrap tops, I don't really care for. They just don't look right on me. Um, I, I just don't care for them too much. Um, I always have to wear a cami underneath them, um, that type of thing. So I, unless they really stretch or give, um, I just, they're gonna have to size me up on those. Um, but I just really don't think I'm gonna uh, have them send those to me anymore. Cause they just, it's just a style that doesn't work for me. Um, this is a pretty dress. I really, the, the fabric is just not giving, you know, it's just very, this doesn't stretch at all. Um, but it, it, it's nice fabric. It really is nice fabric. And it is a cute little dress. Um, I wish it had fit because this might be something I might have considered. It's a little bit more, um, the print is a little bit more outside my comfort zone though. Um, I like printed stuff, but this looks a little bit more, um, I don't know, tropical. And going into fall, I just don't think it is a good, um, I just don't think it's a good fall piece for me, really, because it looks more tropical. To me, this looks more like spring and summerish, even though it has a darker color. Um, it is cute, but this is just definitely a no because I couldn't even try it on. So that goes in the no pile. Okay, the Catherine Boyfriend Jean is next. I cut from the cloth. This is in the wash Inspire. And uh, they did send me these before and they were sent me them in size 14. They sent me in size 10s this time and I think they really did fit a lot better. Um, I really do like these. Um, they are just so, they're comfortable. They're a good fit for me. I love the wash on them. I love cut from the cloth. They're like one of my favorites. Um, I've actually looked for these um, online even on their websites and I've not been able to find the Inspire ones. Um, so I was hoping to find them cheaper, um, but cause me, you know, I'm, I'm a cheapie. Um, these are $89 and, um, as much as I love them, they, I just, I can't have a problem spending $89 on, on uh, a pair of jeans, but I did, I did spend, I think, I think I did spend that on a pair of Wit and Wisdom. Um, but, uh, anyway, these are, um, they're maybe, they're a maybe. So... Um, they may not fit my budget, but they're going to go in the maybe pile. There's my maybe pile. Um, the next one, I love these pants. This is the second time they sent me these pants as well. And I absolutely love these pants for a nice dressier look. Uh, they're so comfortable. They are, they are thicker. They'd be great for this winter to wear them, you know, out and about this winter. I don't think the wind would, you know, whip through them. Like a lot of my pants or jeans even are thinner and the wind just goes through them like crazy in the winter and the cold. So I think these would be great winter pant for me. Um, these are the Mia Ponte pant with faux pockets in black. Last time they sent them to me in 14s and I just felt they were a little bit big. And this time they sent them in size 12s and I think they fit me a lot better. I really did like the 12s in them. These are also from cut from the cloth. Um, these are just wonderful. This didn't bother me this time. It didn't stick out like as much as it did the other time. And I don't know whether it's because it's holding me in more um, in the stomach area because it's a smaller size or what. Um, they still don't have the pockets. I can live with that because these are just a really, really nice pant. Um, I guess I would just have to, you know, wear or, you know, um, take a purse, carry a purse if I ever, or a cardi that had pockets rather than these. Um, but I do like these. These are just wonderful. Um, once again, they're $89. Um, I can't really get both pair in um, with my budget right now. So this is also going to be in the maybe pile. So you guys let me know which pant you liked better on me, um, which you thought looked better, um, which fit better. I would appreciate that. Okay, the next one is by Michael Stars, and it is the Madison Off the Shoulder colonial blue top in size large and this is 
and I got to looking at the price tag. This was originally $118. Then they marked it down to $79.99. Then they marked it down to $59.99. Now it's $49.99. So this is very expensive, expensive top. Um, $118. Whew. And I really did like this. This is really nice and soft. The only thing I'm not sure of is it being off the shoulder. Um, you know, how much am I going to wear that this fall once it starts getting cold here or even this winter? But I thought it looked okay being up on my shoulder as well. Um, so you guys let me know about that, what you thought about that. Um, I really loved the sleeve. I liked the little detail on the sleeve. Um, I actually liked the fit. The fit was a lot more form-fitting than what I'm used to. Um, so please let me know how that looked for on me. Um, because I'm not quite sure I really liked that. I kind of liked it, but I kind of didn't. So um, but this was really a nice sweater. I did I did like this. I love the length of it. Super, super soft. $49.99 for like a sweater is really, that's not too bad, really. I wish they give discounts. Trendsend does not give discounts if you purchase a certain amount. So um, yeah, it would be totally $49.99. Um, that's one thing I don't like about Trendsend. Especially some of their clothing is a lot more pricey and I would probably purchase I would purchase a lot more if I got a discount if I purchased you know five items or more I would definitely spend more um, with them so this is it's not a maybe it's not a definite I guess I better put it in the maybe pile okay the next one is the Ava tunic hoodie in the color prune in size large and this is by Peyton Jensen and this is only $19.99, which is a good price. That, that was, that's wonderful. Um, I liked it. It was just way too snug on me. So this one, I definitely would probably go up a couple sizes if they have the, the sizes available. I don't know. Um, because I like my hoodies a lot. Uh, I like them oversized. And this isn't like a sweatshirt hoodie. It's more like a sweater hoodie. Um, the only thing is it's very see-through. Um, so I might have to wear something underneath it, which... You know, that's okay because this is something I'm going to be wearing to keep me warm. Um, this part, you know, around the neck didn't bother me too bad. It wasn't like some of them you get that are really high up and they kind of choke you. And I don't like that. Um, I'm not real fond of hoodies. I, I have a few that I like to wear, but um, they're just not like a staple in my wardrobe. I do like the color. I think the color is very pretty and flattering. I think it is a nice fall color. So this one, you guys let me know, should I size up and keep it? Because I did like it. I actually really did like it. So um, that might be a definite, definite. But I have to check in the sizing on that. All right. The next one is the Parker Stripe Tunic Tank in white and black in lar size large. And it's also by Peyton Jensen. And it is $38. Okay. I really did like this. This is like one of my favorites in the whole box, to be honest. Um, I really, really did like this. I love the fabric. It's really nice and soft. Um, I like the style. I thought it fit well. Um, it's just like almost perfect for me. Um, but do I want to spend $38 on a tank? I don't know. It's a great layering piece. Um, I do like the V-neck. And it, I, I kind of like that detail where it's got the black stripe through that and also on the sleeve as well. But I did just purchase that long-sleeved... Um, top that's basically like this fabric i mean basically like the it's not the fabric's a little different but um the pattern is pretty much the same and the color is the same from trunk club um but it is long sleeve so i'm thinking do i need a tank kind of in the same or if i maybe i don't since i did purchase that i did size that one down so um i don't know that's something i'm gonna think about so this goes in the maybe pile, even though I really did like this one. So that's a great layering piece. Um, I'm going to give that some thought. Um, next one was the Stripe Pocket Tank T in black stripe in large. And it is by RD Style. And it is $29.99. This is also really cute. I really did like this. It's $29.99. It fit well. Um, this is the type of little dress that I'm actually looking for as far as being casual. Um, 
you guys let me know what you thought of that with the, the, the denim little shirt jacket thing that I had. Um, maybe I do need to get a different denim jacket. Um, I think it would look nice with the Cardi as well. Um, I didn't think about putting booty, booties with it. But yeah, maybe I need to look for a pair of booties that would go with it too. The only thing about this is they have something similar like this at Walmart for $9.99. And I'm not sure if they still have them or there or not. So I may go check at Walmart and see if they do, if they in, and try it on and see if it's similar to this. If it is, I'm going to spend the $9.99 rather than the $29.99 for one piece. So I may be able to get three of them for that price. So um, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I have to watch my money and, and uh, that type of thing. Now this one is on sale. Um, oh my, this was originally a $78 dress. And uh, they marked it to $59.99, down to $44.99. Now it's $29.99. So this is actually a sale item. So, uh, but then again, the quality may not be there with the Walmart ones. I don't know. It may fit different. Um, but that's something I'm going to check into. So this is a maybe. If I don't like what they do at Walmart, I'm probably going to get this one. Because I do really like this style. And I do like that it's just very, very casual. This is the kind of casual little dress that I want. Um, to run around in. Okay, and the last one is the stateside cutout tee in washed cherry color in large, and it's by Sanctuary, and it's $44.99. I like the color. <clears throat> I do like the fabric, and I even like the, the print. You know, it's not like a solid. It's a little bit different. I'm just not fond of the asymmetric. That's just me. I like symmetry. I like things, you know, um, the same on both sides. Um, when I, I used to wear my hair very uh, symmetrical and going to a side part and all that, that about drove me nuts. I finally have gotten used to that, but I just don't know. And going into fall, I just don't think I'd get much wear out of it, to be honest. Um, and it was an okay fit. Um, I think this type of shirt, I would want to go up a size if I did keep it. Um, but I wasn't like thrilled with it. it. Wasn't something that I was in love with. So that's probably going to be a definite no. <clears throat> so I got a few things. Actually, everything but two items are a maybe. Um, I'm probably not going to get the pants to be honest. But um, this definitely is a maybe. This is a maybe for sure. And this. And I do like this too. <laughs> I do like this too. So. Um, was I in love with any of it? I really wasn't like super in love with everything, but I do buy pieces that I'm not, not totally in love with because um, I do like them, but they're not like, oh, my dream pieces. And I think we're going to have that in all of our closets. Um, some people are definitely just going to get things, you know, that they absolutely love. Um, and they'll pay a lot for that. And that's fine if that's what they choose to do. But I like, I like to get things, because a lot of times I get things that I'm like, eh, I like it, but, you know, and then I go ahead and get it, and then I love it, you know. Then I start wearing it, and I just love it, you know. I fall in love with it. So I think some items you just have to fall, take the chance and fall in love with, and some items you, that you just absolutely hate, don't get. So these are the items that I really um, do, I do like, um, but I'm not, like, super in love with. I'm in love with these pants. Okay, but I'm not okay with spending $89 on them. I'm, I'm in love with those jeans too, but I'm not okay spending $89 on them. So, um, anyway, that's my Trendsend box. Um, last time I had the same stylist, and she basically um, sent everything that was in the box was on my wish list. So, I kind of wonder, I kind of felt like um, I was happy with everything, but I, I basically picked it all out. So, of course, I was going to be happy with those. Um, and I kind of wanted to, to give her another ch another time of styling to see if she would actually send pieces that she chose. And she did. She did send, I think, uh, maybe one or two items that were on my wish list prior. Uh, two items. I think it was the pants. Um, but other than that, she picked everything out. It was okay. It wasn't like, um, like I said, it wasn't like I was like, oh, wow, you know, I love this. Oh, wow, I love this. Not like my first box. My first box, I was like, yeah. Um, these were okay. But then again, some of these are just like staple pieces and a lot more casual. 
So um, maybe that's why. I'm not sure. But um, I think it was a pretty decent, pretty decent box. Because I do like it several things. Um, it doesn't give me like a total on the pricing or anything like that. And I don't get a discount on that. So um, that's basically it, folks. <clears throat> so once again, I'm asking for your help and uh, to give me some guidance. And uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions were on what these items looked like on me. I would de definitely appreciate it. Uh, this is probably going to be my last video uh, unless I get a box in tomorrow. Um, Thursday, I'm going back in for the remaining of my oral surgery. So, I'm, and it's going to be very extensive. Um, and I'm probably not going to be able to talk. So, I do have Nadine West. I think they've notified me, but it's not like... Um, on its way yet so I may have like another week week and a half with that so by then I hopefully I'm be healed enough um, to talk and do video so if you don't see me for a week or so um, that's what's going on I didn't want to leave you guys hanging um, I do appreciate you all of you for uh, watching my video and for all the support you've given me all of those who have subscribed this last week and prior I do appreciate it I want to thank you guys so much um, I did see, you know, quite a bit of growth in my channel this last week, and it's, it was amazing, and I just, I appreciate it so much. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I do mainly unboxings for, I do a lot of clothing unboxings, and I'm moving into doing some beauty boxes as well. Um, there's still some things I want to do with my channel besides unboxings, but I just am not there yet. Um, I just haven't had the time to um, investigate some things that I want to investigate and uh, become more knowledgeable on. I also have done some hauls as well, and I want to continue to do those as well. Um, so anyway, if you like those kind of things, you like this video and you're new, um, please hit the subscribe button on your way out. Um, if you want to be notified of my any new videos that I put up, then um, click the little bell as well. And so you will not miss anything. Um, let me see what else. Oh, if you guys like this video, um, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And you all have a great week, and I uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you. Love you guys.